All right. Well, good morning, Greg. As uh, um, kind of we have been the, the last few weeks recording these on a, on a, on a Friday morning, uh, which kind of seems to work well for us. Uh, been, been busy again. And, and thanks to hello to everyone listening. We appreciate everyone listening. He's been sharing the episodes and, and, uh, and, and reaching out to us with different questions and podcast yes. ideas. So we've got some good ideas from that uh, coming up. Oh, another one I got to tell you about. Well, we'll talk about that after the show, Greg. Um, remind me of that because it's uh, guess what? It's Bath Township, Michigan. There's something coming no out. Way. So we had one of our listeners reached out about a cool one. So um, today, uh, what we we're, we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about several cases, but two of them kind of in particular. And so I'll give a quick brief synopsis of it right now, and and then we're going to kind of break down what actually happened because as the, you listening know, um, a lot of times, especially what's first reported in a news story is not always what actually happened, or they paint it in a certain light um, to kind of pander to some emotional reaction, and it turns into a clickbait, and which is sad for everyone involved in the actual story, because one, it's missed, uh, and then it, it we, we start having uh, feelings, emotions, and then legislation or something that might come from that, which has nothing to do with what actually occurred. So the first one is actually Wayne County, Michigan, Greg, I believe the town is Roseville, um, yep. just a couple of weeks ago, uh, or no, sorry, a few days ago. All right. Uh, basically, no, it was, I'm sorry, I'm screwing up, but a couple, couple of weeks ago, uh, a guy by the name of Frank Robles, uh, there was a traffic accident is what happened. Yep. And a police officer shot and killed a man who confronted him with an armed knife after the traffic crash, right? So what was reported was there's this traffic crash. Police show up on the scene. They're the first ones there, obviously, uh, trying to assess the situation. Guy's holding a knife. Uh, police officer feels like his life is threatened and ends up killing him at the scene. So that's kind of what gets reported. Obviously, we're going to get into what really happened uh, here shortly. But the other case that we're going to be talking about sort of uh, at the same time in parallel is the one from uh, a Target store in Florida where some teens robbed robbed the store. Uh, they stole some like Pokemon cards, I believe like some food, some pizza or something as well. And they uh, leave and then are subsequently in an altercation with police in the parking lot where the police officers shot and killed one of them, I believe, has died. I think the other ones are still alive. But obviously, that's kind of how the story got reported as, you know, cops kill kid over Pokemon cards, which although that makes for a wonderful headline. Um, is not really exactly what happened. So the, the, we're going to talk about these two cases, like I said, several others, and, and it's kind of going to go around the theme of, of you know, what we talk about, second and third order effects of your actions and things that no one accounted for or planned for or thought that would happen, uh, even though it, it, you could kind of, you could predict the, these, some of the potential outcomes in these situations. So I'll, I'll throw to you, Greg, to which one you want to start with and where, um, but they all kind of go around this theme of one, who's really responsible for what happened, uh, and two, uh, you know, the second and third order effects of reactions, and of course, three, which is always out there, is how these things get reported, um, and versus what really happened. And I always put sort of like an asterisk after that or something. You know, everyone wants to say, "Oh, it's the media, the media." This, it's like, oh, okay. This is how humans are, right? So think about any story you told or some gossip your friend told you, and then you start repeating the same junk without even knowing whether it's not not it's true, without even verifying anything. So yeah, sure, the the media can get blamed, but it's humans, right? This is how we are, right? We go, oh my god, this is exactly. most, most of what happened. We don't take the time to actually look into what were the contributing factors. So we'll, we'll kind of that's my preamble, I guess, Greg. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a great you. lead in. I, I I would say that uh, 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 I had learned the hard way. Uh, growing up when it was a legitimate news story, but back in the days uh, when you had to read the news, uh, 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 there were pages and they would say advertisement on them, but they looked a lot like the articles, Brian. Uh, yeah, I now know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, there's they... no such need to do that, okay? Yeah. And, and, and so this morning, uh, uh, headline 18 times that Taylor Swift's shoes predicted a stock market increase. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Is, How are, is click or, hang on, hang on, yeah, hang on. First of all, why are you topic. not immediately informing me of any and, and, Taylor and, and, Swift news? I, I, I stand corrected. That that was the wrong person to choose when we talked to young Brian. Brian <laughs> used to date Taylor Swift. Everybody, we'll get to that on a future episode. <laughs> but the idea, Brian, is that that we are so used to gossip. Gossip is a huge part yes. of how humans learn. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, how humans stay in relationships, how humans uh, uh, learn about others and break up from relationships, yeah, how we teach each other too. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so and and fables are, are yes. a form of gossip. Form of gossip right? I, I would uh, agree. So, so you you got to really be careful here. Yeah. But but I think a central theme is the gift of time and distance. What that means is that I have a hammer. Uh, in the basement and and i've uh designated it as the hammer of truth and justice oh there you and, go and i, I, I <laughs> shelly's locked it away and i don't know where it is in the basement but i know it's, but it's there, there. <laughs> and every time that i see somebody pipe up on the news uh, uh or in print news saying uh words that are translated to i'm not educated on this matter and your job is to educate me and bring me up to speed that's the kind of rhetoric, Brian, that that just drives me up a tree. So, so I'll give you an example on this. The try to find folks. The guy's name, uh, uh, and I'm sad he's dead. I'm sad when anybody dies. Is Frank Robles, uh, R O B L E S from Roseville, from Michigan. Roseville, Michigan, yeah. Wayne County. Yeah. Okay. So what happened just a few hours ago, Brian? That's why the confusion in the in the yeah, day yeah, just yeah, a couple yeah. of hours ago. The officer who who shot and killed Frank is Chad Lee. He just got exonerated by by a shooting board mm -hmm. in Macomb County that said, "Hey, listen, uh, he, he he didn't do anything, okay, uh, uh, wrong. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, he did something clearly, but but it was authorized in this instance to uh, reduce this, drop this guy from the count. Now, listen, Frank Robles may have a family. I'm not going to do the research. That's your job. Uh, meaning the the person that's listening." Frank Robles may have been undergoing a temporary break from reality, Brian. Right. But what he did is he set in motion a chain of events that led to his own death. And he's singularly responsible for his own death. And he's also responsible for the danger that he put others in that morning. Uh, Chad Lee's future as a police officer mm -hmm. uh the semi driver of the of the uh truck that he mm -hmm. that he rammed into to begin this event which appears not only on its face but from the artifacts and evidence to be a protracted attempt at killing himself right. that's what it feels so, like so and that's what it felt like when i called you right away and said hey let's run on this story a, a couple of weeks ago so this is what happened is Frank Robles is driving down. Uh, what was the street, Greg? It's uh, 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 Grosbeck. It's, uh, it's a big, major wide, road. Major, major, major road, road in through city runs through Detroit and the surrounding suburbs yep. and all the towns in there. And he drives his car directly into an oncoming semi truck. OK, yep. so what we learned was this was an attempted suicide. So he now gets out. Police show up at the scene. They're trying to assess the situation. You can find the body cam footage. I think maybe yep. we'll, we'll look at that on, on the Patreon side. If yeah, that's a great thing. Right Let's now. break that down on Patreon. We'll, 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 we'll do that on there if you, if you want to get into that. Um, but they show up. They find him. He's standing there all of a sudden. You could tell even the police officers looking around, checking the scene, going, what's going on? Here's this guy standing there. Hey, are you OK? He said no. And I think that's probably that's likely what caused the police officer to take a second look, mm -hmm. thinking, yep. thinking this yep. guy is a victim of a car accident or needs medical help to, oh, he has a knife in his hands. And then so he says the you know, officer gives him commands to, uh, you know, drop the knife, drop the knife. He doesn't. He kind of lunges. You can tell in the video he moves forward towards the officer. He's got the knife in his hand. Officer ends up engaging and killing him uh, on the scene. And then the autopsy revealed he also had slit wrists, I believe, and yep. was bleeding from them That's as true. well. So we call that what the term would be suicide by cop, right? You know, yep. this guy wants to die. And so he obviously tried once, failed. Now he's, or twice, actually, he slid his wrist. He's rammed his vehicle into a semi. So he still obviously has this intent in mind to, to, to die today. And then he, he did, he ended up doing that. But, you know, first, anytime something with suicide, mental health, fuck, we talk about that all the time. We have the most yeah, empathy for anyone like that. If, you, if you're struggling, yep. we just, the, the, the uh, uh, podcast that was released this week with Joseph Reed about broken people. So I always try to empathize with this, but, but, but in this situation, you know, it's, it's fuck you. I mean, because the second and third order effects of what he did is, is destroyed that community because not only, not only did this officer whose life is and is completely changed career yes, in jeopardy, forever. possibly forever, uh, the community shattered this, like you said, the driver of the truck was just driving to work that morning to a job site, delivering whatever he's delivering, going, what the hell just happened? Right. So all of these people and then and then because there's a accident investigation, there's a or excuse me, a crime scene investigation, right? They have to lock down the streets, uh, causes everyone delays traffic, getting to work, interrupts That's everyone true. days and 
and a young girl walking to high school, walking to uh, school uh, just blocks away from where this occurred. Well, because of the extra traffic, because of the crime scene shutdown, because people aren't paying attention, they need to get to work. She's running across the street. And guess what? Someone hits her with a vehicle on accident, right? Likely not paying attention. Clearly didn't see her crossing in the crosswalk is I believe where it happened. And, and she uh, is now is still to right now. I, I didn't get any other updates when I checked this morning fighting for her life because she has a traumatic brain injury and she's in the hospital. So yep, because yep, the this, investigators, the yes. investigators, just so you know, that we're not just throwing uh, uh, chicken bones on a and car. I'll put hood. the links in the Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Look it up for yourself, folks. But the, the proximate cause of the accident that put this uh, uh, poor girl and intensive care where she's been since this incident yep. uh, on life support. Uh, uh, the investigation shows that because the roads were closed, some people tried to squeak around yep. in different routes. And because they weren't at their best on new routes, not paying close attention, they hit her. Now, listen, if you talk proximate cause, Brian, Frank yep. Robles is the proximate Absolutely. cause of that, that, that incident. Now, we're not vilifying Frank. Frank had a bad day. And, and, and Frank's day was so bad, it ended in his life. What we're saying is your methodology, your choices that you make. And that's that's really what ties these two capers together, Brian. That's what turns a shoplifting into a homicide. And that's what turns this attempted suicide. Look, here's my problem with just a Frank Robles caper. When it came out, I notified you almost immediately yeah. because there yeah. was no video. There was no noise. There was nothing except for Roseville coppers gunned down. Yeah, Some of course. Local fisherman. Yeah. Do you get what I'm yeah, trying yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it came out because it he is. had a fishing knife and he was a fisherman and all that. Hey, yep. and that's he loves fishing and everything else. Listen, folks, you can't go through somebody's life. Well, you can, you can, and we do, but you can't go through somebody's life after Ed Gein uh, uh, ate his neighbors, uh, uh, dug up uh, people from the cemetery and made lampshades out of their bones right. and go back and go, you know what, Ed Gein in 11th grade, Brian, nicest guy I ever met. We played soccer together and brought yeah. home that trophy. Yeah. You, you don't do that. You don't get to pick and choose. What, what Frank ended his life on, okay, when he was in trouble, look, there was a great story overnight, and I wish I had the story for you, Brian, but coppers had to kill a, a mentally deranged young man uh, uh, that, that was, was off his meds. He had some problems, uh, had a weapon and assaulted the officers. And afterwards, uh, 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 and the poor guy's dead and, and the poor officers are traumatized, but they went to the mom and the, the mom said, I'd rather my son be in a mental hospital getting, getting uh, treatment right now than being on a, a gurney in, 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 in the morgue. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She has so does everyone. came to grips, right? Yeah. She came to grips with it though, Brian. Yes. She didn't, she didn't jump in and say, Hey, police, this and that things happen. Uh, she wished it would have been different. We all wished it would have been different. But in this case, where push, push, push. Look, uh, uh, Frank is as surprised as anybody. He he lived from the accident. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. That? Oh, you can see that in the video. That, now he's walking around at the scene. And, and let's do that on Patreon. Let's yeah. show how we would break down. Because then he's got he's the got key. the knife in his hand. His, and he's, he, he, yeah. he's walking towards other people. But but he's not walking towards them like, hey, listen, I'm going to stab everybody in the forehead. Right. He's walking around like he's in a daze. And all of a sudden it catches up to him. Hey, I'm still alive. What's next? Right. So mm -hmm. now we've got the wrist. We've got the wrists that are cutting. That didn't work. So now we've got a sense of exasperation uh, in Frank. So he's he's manic. He's broken, Brian. And now he's searching for something. And who shows up? A cop. Now, let's go to the mindset of the cop real quick and think, what's the cop there for, Brian? It's a traffic accident. So what's his first 14 file folders uh, set up? Flares call for an assistant who's going to write it is michigan state Police hey, greg can you check your connection there real quick sorry it's just getting kind of going a little bit i can still hear everything just kind of a little little yeah i apologize i'm not sure what's causing that brian uh uh but the idea being uh that that here on the scene the only one that knows what's going to happen next is frank robles and all of a sudden the copper sees the knife in his hand is going whoa 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 you know you need to stop this and and frank doesn't brian frank had myriad opportunities to change the trajectory in those last few minutes of his life. And he chose to die, Brian. That's an important standard. That, uh, even now, Brian, that's why I said, you go and try to find the real story, all the sensationalist shit is still on, on whatever search engines you choose. And you know what's not on there, Brian? What's not on there is, hey, it appears from all the events that Frank Robles was trying to kill himself, 
and cause this un, unfortunate chain of events. Yeah, and, and and that's what it is. And he's ultimately responsible for for, for this. But you know, the, you know, right. you go into the second and third order facts. Uh, yes, he did. Did Frank Robles wanted to die? He didn't want to kill a, a little a girl walking to school. Nope. He didn't want to drag a police officer into that. You know, what I mean. What if you didn't want to injure a, a semi truck driver? This is just what he, he he didn't he lacked some organization and he lacked some critical thinking and yes. he couldn't couldn't work his way out of the situation. And yeah, it, it, and it, it, yes, it gets it gets reported differently. And you you know so it's it's just one of those cautionary tales. It's like well, let's take a look at, at really really what happened here, and yep. that's not unlike you know the 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 target shooting as well, right? The, the, because it gets reported as the Pokemon cards and police officers kill someone. Well, what these kids did is put a bunch of like ski masks on, I believe some sort of mask on, not like a COVID mask for, for you know, some that, that you're required to wear it still in some places, but it actually covered themselves up, go in, steal a bunch of st stuff, come running out. I think they, they had already called the police. I can't remember what the witness description was. There was right. something up. So the police were there almost immediately. And then you know, you're showing up or you're in the parking lot, you know, you're putting your grandma back in the car, Greg, because you went to, That's to, it. to, to, to target, to get her stuff that you do every week. And then the next thing, you know, you're caught in the crossfire because some kids decided to go in and rob a place and then come running out. Cause if you're up on the, I mean, you picture arriving on the scene, you don't know what happened. Dudes in ski masks come running out. Did they just do an armed robbery? Are they going to shoot their way out? And Precisely. what they ended up doing is what? They didn't comply with commands. They tried to flee and they drove their police, or excuse me, they drove their car directly at the police officers there. That's okay. Well, deadly force is, force is authorized if you're trying to kill someone because that's a, of that's course a, it is. It's a weapon, right? A vehicle is a weapon. And, and you know, there, there's that sets off all these events. So now the, the all those store employees, everyone who's in the parking lot, their life is forever changed. Now maybe they don't want to go back to Target. Now grandma's scared to leave the house. I mean, like the, this is what occurs from it. And then that all happens. And then it gets reported as teens gunned down over Pokemon cards. Yeah. So, so, so let's, let's talk about that for a minute. So here's another one, Brian, where I want folks to do their own research to try to find the real article, because this is weeks old, and there's still not a, 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 an article that's clear and saying the videos are out, the investigation's in full swing, and Brian, we, we just have to have answers, and we're not getting the right answer. So listen, this is the first uh, 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 news piece that came out, and it was from the professional news people on television at the scene. They said some teens stole Pokemon cards and pizzas, and then deputies fired shots outside the Target store. This deputy-involved shooting is being investigated by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. It's their job to find out if the de deputies rightfully pulled the triggers and to determine if this shooting was justified. Okay, so first of all, Brian, the driver was 20. That's yeah. not a teen, okay? That's a fact. The second thing is we still don't know because it's not being publicized by the news and the police are saying, Hey, it's under investigation. Go to the, you know, Osceola County uh, yeah, detectives yeah. or whatever. Okay. License plates was covered up. License plates allegedly didn't fit the car. There's word that the car may have been uh, 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 reported stolen. We don't know that yet. The 20 year old driver of the vehicle was in ready backed into a spot and had a gun. Okay. That's not been reported by anybody. Okay, yep. that's fact. That's happening at the scene. They drove when they left, and the people that fired the shots were in fear for their life and fired into the car. Now, here's where I say training changes behavior, Brian, because, yes, they hit the driver in the chest, and the driver's dead. So mm -hmm. he chose to drive at those folks. Yes. Okay? The people chose a getaway car. Okay? I'll tell you right now, felony murder rule, uh, uh, they could charge – the people that did the shoplifting with the death of their own co-conspirator, Brian, right, right. for his death. Uh, yeah. So you're worried about these other things. I'm saying that coppers were on the way. Why? Because Target called and Target said, we got some guys with masks that are bums rushing to the store, and yeah. they didn't know what they had. They didn't know they had somebody that was going to take popcorn and a fucking Christmas tree ornament. And yeah. that's my problem with it is who right. made those choices, Brian. So who made those choices. That so was not the cops that made the choice. No, no. And, and this is, this is, there, there's a couple points to make. Well, there's there's several, but on that point, yes, is they set that chain of events into motion. This is what they chose. Like you yep. can't, they should be the ones responsible. Every single person in that car. These are people that we should say you don't you don't get you don't get to you don't get to live in our society. 
sorry. Like you, you gave up you that right when you caused choices. all this. Exactly. Right. And, and, and the thing is now we're going to vilify the responding officers. Now you can also make the argument, okay, this was a property crime. They didn't, you know, why are we escalating it to this point? Yep. Did the police officers actions somehow escalate the situation? Maybe, but, but. And the investigation I, I, will find that out. Right. But, but the whole point is it, given that set of circumstances, given yes. that, that time of what's happening, like you can't necessarily, it's very difficult to determine that on the ground. I can't go, okay, it's, you know, no. it's a bunch of punk kids stealing Pokemon cards. They're on camera. We got the license plate. We can we can investigate this. No right, reason right. to chase after. <laughs> you don't know that at the time. Most mostly, you get so, what I'm saying. It, it, so, like... most of our listeners, most of our viewers, Brian, especially the loyal ones, know that that uh, uh, I'm an orphan. And so, when you oh talked God. about my mom taking my mom, I'm an orphan. Uh, there's a target in in Montrose, and when we take mom, you know what we do? We pull right up in front. And yeah. Shelly diligently gets around. Not anymore. She's dead. It's a lot easier carrying her around because she was cremated. <laughs> but back then, we still do. Uh, it. Shelley, yeah, we still. But Shelly would open the door and help her out. We used the yeah. FJ because the FJ was easier, easier with for the, the wing door. Yep. Uh, uh, and Brian, I saw the video and I replayed the video over and over. And I imagined my mom and I walking into that store. Shelly and my mom walking in that store. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Second thing is, don't be fooled that there were Pokemon uh, uh, cars and pizza. Uh, 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 in, in Brookfield, Wisconsin, just a few days ago, they had uh, four men assault a man that came out with the Pokemon cards. And uh, the, the man they assaulted was a concealed carry uh, permit holder. And he pulled out his gun and the attackers ran off. And these beatings and thievery are, are happening around the country. Why? Because now that's the hot thing, Brian. And right. it's not a, and, and you sent me one yesterday where if you would have read it, it would have been a, a, you know, a, a police assaulted a guy in a car. Yeah. It turned out they were arresting a, a, a were, vicious carjacker. Yeah. They were attempting to arrest the carjacking suspect in, in the stolen vehicle. Another one said, you know, man gets assaulted on traffic stop. Okay. Yep. Like, yeah. Yep. Okay. So listen to me. Technically, you're correct. That was a traffic stop. Did you want to explain why? The coppers had a correct? town hall in Osceola County in, in Kissimmee, and they try or Kissimmee, how you ever, ever you pronounce it. And they try to talk about this very incident, the target Pokemon card shooting. And one of the uh, Orange County residents in Florida raised her hand and said, all you have is one camera view, and it doesn't tell the whole story. And we're talking about children here. No, we're not. No, we're not. And the items that were taken are minimal. Lady, w when you don't know what you're talking about, here I am back again is I'm not educated on this matter. You tell me. One, I agree. Nobody should die for a property crime. But the cops didn't unduly escalate the situation. They attempted to make a traffic stop, which is completely in their right, on private property, which is owned by Target, with an illegally parked car that was backed in, revving the engine, and then pulls forward quickly and not only rams into people, but rams into other cars. Brian, yeah. that was a choice the mm -hmm. police officer didn't make. And these aren't children. Brian, when you take a gun, you're no longer a child. When you want, you may have the mind of a child. You may have the experiences of a child, but you get what I'm trying to say. You just came into the arena and said, I'm here for the professional game. And these cops were professionals, Brian. They didn't want to kill anybody. You, you know what? I know one cop in my career and I've been around cops my entire life. Uh, my daddy was a cop. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Everybody in my family on both sides of uh, uh, the law had run-ins hmm. with the cop, much like you, Chicago. <laughs> but the idea is when we think about this is I only met one cop in my entire career that used to go, you know what, Reem? This might be the night. This might be the night I get to shoot yeah. somebody in somebody's life. One guy. And that guy was 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 uh, uh, unsafe at any speed, Brian. Uh, I mean, this this is what ties these two together. This... Roseville chose what he was going to do. And you know what, Osceola County, those teenagers and that 20 year old chose what they were going to do. Yeah. And, and there's, um, you know, we talk about perception a lot um, and we talk yep. about it. Well, I mean, we talk about everything from a physiological level of perception, how human perception works and how, yeah. and how horrible it is. Um, and, and then you get into perception in um, sort of, I guess, a sociological perception of how different groups are perceived, different people are perceived, and then how something like this, a, a news headline could influence your perception yes. of events. And then we've all even had even sort of the philosophical discussions of human perception of what it means and how 
orientation and perception are probably the two most important things to understand about humans, I would say, in the world, yep. because everything relies around orientation, orient what you orient towards is what you care about, what you look at is what you care about in your environment. And then Which perception right into predictive analysis. Right. Absolutely. And then and then perception is how you perceive the events that are unfolding, your environment, everything that's going on using your five senses and everything you've learned and, and how corrupt sort of our, our per, human perception yes. can be. All yep. of us, some less or some more, but but everyone, no matter how logically you try to look at something, evaluate a situation, um, um, analyze something, you have cognition biases, you have perception biases, you yep. have things that are fighting against you that, yes, knowing about them and understanding them will likely help you to not fall into that trap. But there, there, there is no way to avoid that, right? This isn't right. that you, 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 there's no training that gets rid of your cognition biases. You can't do that. You can you can't understand because them. they were on board for survival, Brian. Yes. Listen, we had much less to attend to in our lives. Yeah. And, and the sense of urgency was only for those things <laughs> that would cause fatalities, right? But, so, so we're very skeptical about any light motion and edges in our environment. Right. It doesn't mean to cause me immediate death. In, no, in and it's environment. so funny because you just said that because I, 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 I don't know why I didn't send you this. There was like an article last week I saw and it was, you know, it was sort of a joke, but it was almost like a, an onion or duffel blog type article about, about like, uh, um, you know, uh, college papers or something like that. And it's like, once again, anthropologist finds out that people used to just sit around and not do a whole lot back in the day. You know so, what I mean? They're like, gosh, if you weren't true. hunting or sleeping, you kind of just hung out and it was yep. hilarious. Cause it's like, Oh, they passed the time. And you know, they, they, I'm studying this tribe in, in Africa and they sleep a lot. They hang out a lot and do nothing. It's like, yeah, because everything that we're wired to do is geared for survival. So, so if we're in a situation, we don't need to use it. That's good. But now everything is competing for our attention. There Precisely. wasn't anything back in the day to compete for our attention as much. So now we're constantly on with this. We don't realize how, how it uh, affects our perception. So I, I did just at least want to mention, you know, things like perception and functional field of view. Oh, you're right on. Because it all plays into this and, and but, perception in the moment of those individuals of the suspect of the police officer, yes. perce perception of everyone around around there because one guy did there was one witness in the tar target one who thought he heard yeah the, the the suspect started shooting all i heard boom 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 then i heard the return fire of boom 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 that's completely different than what everyone else said so is Precisely. that guy wrong well it, that's how we perceive the events to occur and and if we continue to weigh the amount of uh media buzz against the coppers in this vilify and fire these coppers is that what we're going with now is the sheer weight of so, the alleged evidence against somebody brian i mean that's not how our legal system works you know we have to have more respect for it i agreed and but here's where we get into what we do and and you know someone will say and you this is my issue with when uh, you know a lot of i don't think a lot of uh, agencies like law enforcement agencies or, or even corporate entities do a very good job of communicating these issues and communicating the concerns that they, and, and it's, it's, I, you know, they, they, you can see the, almost the contempt on their face because they're so annoyed at these questions and they're just, you can tell it's just that they, because they want to like shake people in the public go, you don't understand. It's like, no, they don't. So fucking explain it better. Cause here's the thing, like the, the, um, where I was kind of, going with this is, you know, people will say, well, you never could have predicted that would have happened. And that's no, not, that's true. not true. That's not, that's a, not a, true. true but, but here's the thing. A lot of us don't know that that isn't true. It's like, well, what do you mean? You're going to tell me that you could have predicted this girl getting run over on the way to school because of a, a, a accident that happened down the street. And yes, 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 you can. It's happened many, many, many and, times. And, 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 and does it happen? Let's say it's just um, a, a water main breaks at a major intersection, and now then the, the nine one one on the city services side pop up. They start blocking off traffic, and what does that do to everyone's day? Driving their kids to school. Um, now we get to find a new route. Now I'm running late, which means I'm going to be driving faster. I'm going to be paying less attention. I haven't run this route before, so I don't know it well. And then, boom! That's when those things occur. That's when it, it's never. You know, we tell, we talk about all the time. It's never, well, Greg, I had a wonderful night's sleep last night. I woke up, had a nice jog. Yep. I had a great healthy breakfast and I had a cup of coffee and I walk out and I see this going, no, that's never when shit happens, man. That's it's, yep. it's always during times of extreme stress or extreme boredom, extreme chaos or, 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 or nothing going on to where you're not attending to your environment properly. So let me throw this at you and, and uh, uh, thanks for being the Mr. Science today. 
because I'll tell you what, no, that puts things into perspective for me when I'm thinking about what we're saying, because sometimes, Brian, a lot of stuff hits the uh, cutting room floor. We never edit anything, folks, but yeah. because we don't go into it, assuming everybody is thinking at the same level we are meeting with the same background and experiences. Right. Give you an example. No, we, okay. we, I just said communication for the police. You got we, it. We do that too. What happens when we get we, these conversations? Automatically. And people go, hey, we didn't, we weren't really tracking well, after this What was point. between this <laughs> and that? You know, uh, that just happened with our, with our recent guest when I made a, uh, a comment about two books. Uh, oh, that's right. Taya Piglet. Yeah. That I absolutely love, you know, and, and he's like, holy crap, those, those are real, are real books. books. <laughs> like, yeah, they really are. So Brian, uh, uh, last week in this last week, because it's Friday now, uh, two deaths occurred within 24 hours, one on the East coast and one on the West coast, both where kids were digging in the sand, uh, one 13 and one 17 or 19, I believe that were digging in the sand on the beach, having fun with others in the presence of others when the sand collapsed and before they could get them out, both of those people died in the instance of the 13 year old, they got them out, got a pulse, got them breathing. Uh, but there was no more recovered brain activity on the older kid on the East coast. Uh, uh, not so lucky and both died. Brian, both of those incidents uh, uh, happen every year in the spring and summer, but we still look at them just like a shark attack and go, right. oh my God, nobody could have predicted it. Okay, stop. Now, let me also tell you that the other side of that coin is getting into the shit when you don't have the right to get me into the shit. Normally, yep. we talk about this on, 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 on road rage. You yeah, do not have, you the right have the right to drive recklessly and act like an idiot because it creates a chain of events that are going to cause an accident you, you'll never see. So I'll throw two at you right quick. Uh, 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 Georgia Taco Bell shootout. And, and, and the reason I want to read the article on it is remember that the Georgia Taco Bell employee allegedly went back in uh, uh, during this argument over a food order. And this is early morning hours. Of went course. back into the store and retrieved their AR-15 and came out, and then gunfire rang out between the two groups. I'm sorry, real quick, I didn't, because I didn't get a chance to look at this one. Um, yeah. The the employee went An and employee grabbed- employee yeah. went back into Taco Bell and grabbed their assault rifle that okay. they had in Taco Bell. I don't know, is that now like this, a Georgia thing? Like you're allowed to no, bring no, no, your no, AR to work or something to like that? Listen to me. So while the cops are investigating, 200 yards away from that investigation, gunfire rang out at another South Fulton fast food restaurant, this time at McDonald's, and the news says, be advised, two different crime scenes. Neither of the situations have anything to do with oh them. Oh, my God. Brian, think about what we're talking about. Look at me. Clearly, I, I go to fast food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't do it when I'm with you or with Shelly, but I sneak away sometimes. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say? And buy six Arby's burgers or whatever this shit. Uh, no, I don't, folks. But by the way. Well, you can tell. Arby's doesn't go, have burgers. Yeah, so, yeah whatever. So, yeah. so they, they, but the idea, Brian, is that we all go to fast food restaurants at one time or yeah. the other for the convenience. And usually, it's usually early morning fair. hours. It's not fair to engage me in, in, in this running gun battle. Now, I'll, I'll counterpoint that with Sunday, thinking of my mom again. My mom loved flea markets. And if it was Hummel related, folks, if you know what a Hummel is, my mom and my aunt were the twin towers when it came to Hummels. So here you got people in Houston's arguably lar largest flea market brian yeah thousands of people shopping on a beautiful sunday in houston and two teams of people get into a verbal argument the guns come out and now five people are shot two are dead brian in the center of the sunday houston flea market where you and i would take our loved ones and walk around looking for the wicker chair think of that for a minute so yeah. when we talk about this guy that got into the accident in roseville michigan that didn't have the right to endanger others and then we start talking about these kids Remember, they're children, Brian, that ran into this Target store in broad daylight and caused this mayhem. All right. I would put these all in the class of you don't have the right to do that to me. And if we think just a few days ago when we were talking about the whites that escaped from uh, 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 prison, uh, uh, they happen to be whites, too. So that's a, I guess there's a pun. Uh, but uh, the woman being dead now. Listen, Brian, they were staying at a hotel where other people stay at the hotel on their way to Disney. Yeah. Let's yes. say do you get what I'm trying to say. You don't have that right. So I think, you know, that, that, that when you think of the law, stop thinking of the poor, innocent victim in this being the criminal, start to align uh, uh, and break down the incident so you can figure out who caused what, why, and where. Now, uh, is Target responsible because they had these Pokemons? out there Brian, right. there, uh, yeah, there, there should be a, a barbed wire Come no on. and and we, we we go to that oh this poor 
kid or something like yeah. because those incidents do happen it's just they're so rare like they they, they, they that's, that's what that's what they make the the movies about the documentary about is that case where someone was wrongfully com- convicted they and they were, happen because they, we they, they do mistakes because we're humans yes and and but you know you when you can't you can't equate that to every other case that's out there because 99.9 percent of all other cases are exactly what they were where the person is responsible for it because they did something wrong so and that that goes into to how our perception of these events but like you know this is why i gave it kind of from the perspective of the news headlines and then you walk through each one of those cases and gave the actual facts that happened you're like well that that sounds that sounds completely completely different. How can and, that be? And 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 part of that is too is you know everyone's rushed to find out. Oh my God, what's going on? And we get listeners right now, and, and I appreciate everyone reaching out who constantly are like, hey, oh, aren't you guys going to talk about the uh, um, the the most recent shooting uh, in Buffalo and all this? I'm like, why, why? One, the investigation right. isn't complete. Um, two. It's you all no know different. The, the most it's, important facts, right? It's no different than anything we've ever talked about again, and, right? And, and, and including to the point where it was completely preventable and people knew so, about it. So let's do this, Brian. Let's create a graduated cylinder for our desks, and this is for you folks that are listening right now. Graduated, and in the graduated cylinder. cylinder. Oh, I'm Maybe sorry. Back to high school. <laughs> so, well, Brian, uh, listen. When you're an orphan, you got a lot more time on your hands. Okay. So the the graduated cylinders up on my desk. And uh, I made it out of one of those things where you put dimes, nickels, and quarters in. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever seen one of those banks where, where it, it organizes your change? Or, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it and spins it's very it around. simple, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very they're, simple. It's yeah, plastic, they're, right? They're cool. So, so this they is the one that I'm going to use. Yeah. And, and what I'm going to do, Brian, is I'm going to take a marker, and I'm going to go across there, and I'm going to say uh, uh, stress fractures visible. That'll be my lowest level. Okay? Then the next thing is uh, social media leakage. That'll be my ne- next thing. Uh, uh, shows up to school uh, in a completely inappropriate uh, outfit and is the school loaner that everybody would point at uh, because of their bizarre behavior. I'm not talking about unique hairstyle. I'm yeah. not talking about uh, uh, yeah, you... Brian liking music that, that nobody in your school likes yeah. and being quirky, okay? I know quirky. I was a quirky kid. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to Everyone say? Everyone was in some way, yeah. So, and, and add now to that the fascination for weapons, the, the hate speech rhetoric. In this event, it happens to be racist, not unlike Dylan Roof, the, the, the church guy, right? But, Brian, that's not all of the issue. You've got broken humans. There's 8 billion people that are available to do this. Think about that on the planet, right? So when we have one out of 8 billion that acts out and does it, it's remarkable because it's yeah. so rare. But if you look at those coins, everyone shares those same graduated cylinder uh, uh, achievements and thresholds, every single one of them. So it's no different than the Oxford shooter. It's no different than the Columbine shooters. And, and this guy just a little bit different uh, uh, in his methodology. And you know what scares me most about these incidents, Brian, is that the availability of video makes other people look at it and go, fuck it, it's checkout time. Yeah. Why don't I copycat it, that you get around it my certainly does future. especially when you're live streaming it and you can find that recording and you can see it from a first person shooter perspective just like the video game you've been playing and but but the the other issue i have with all of it, that is another facet that's that i would say that's a new part to all of this stuff right yeah, yeah, you didn't but, have but that listen, 10, people live ago. stream their pursuits We've yeah, seen that. Yeah, I know yeah, of three yeah, yeah, that yeah. you and I oh, talked yeah. about where yeah. they were on the pursuit going, hey, the cops are right behind me. Uh, and yeah. then and they, uh, learned that from, ago, they learned that from news choppers that used to follow exactly pursuits all right. the time. And, and then remember the, the guy, can't think of his name right now, that was a news reporter, the weatherman with two different names in the bad background, and he went and he killed the, 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 the uh, newsman. Oh, right yeah, on yeah, the, yeah, yeah, right on okay. uh, East Coast, so, North so, Carolina or something yep. like that. I can't remember where, yeah. And then the broken human that that jumped out of the car and shot the guy while he was uh, uh, doing it, then got in a pursuit. So, Brian, it's not unprecedented. That's not no. what I mean. But what I'm talking about is on both sides of the issue now, that was important to the news media. Listen, uh, uh, pol- police don't do the perp walk because they don't want to stimulate other people into thinking that yeah, that's cool. That's... So why are we still allowing the news media Brian, to, to make a circus out of those type of issues. And, well, and, and it's not free press when you're reporting just this horrible uh, uh, tension and anxiety producing information. And, uh, and here's my take, and this is in no way a thought out 
you know, take on this. Yeah. This is kind of right now in the moment, but I've, I have thought about it in the past. I think it, you got to come up with like a cogent message for it, but you know, when everyone looks at these situations, right, we got to understand why this would happen or we want to place blame on something and everyone just picks something that they think that it, it should be or it must be. So it must be because he's a white supremacist. It must be because he had guns. It must be because he was right. treated and he was bullied when he was a kid. It must be because so there's all of these things. But but what people forget about this is let's let's like you just said, let's go back to the person because my my hypothesis would be Greg, let's say um let's say you just, you snapped your fingers and there was no such thing as different skin colors uh, yep. in the world and never yep. had been. Okay. Perfect. So let's just, just that nothing else has changed. Just, there's no skin color. Um, would we still have all the wars and fighting and hate and discontent that, that absolutely, absolutely. Would this kid still have done this for a different reason? Yep. yep. And, he and you know what the reason else. would have been? The reason would have been that morning when he went to Appalachia's and put his quarter in the gumball machine. But, he got an orange gumball instead of the blue gumball, but, but, and that was it. That and, was. And it. here, here's what we forget about all these people that, that carry this out: like the fucking sense of entitlement you have, yes. the narcissism yes. you have to think that you're owed something and that you can go out and do this because you've been wrong, dude. You're fucking 18 years old. You haven't done a damn thing in the world, okay? You lived. And 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 the, the other thing is like, I mean, people forget this. You're, he's a piece of shit. Doesn't matter if he's, he would have come up with some other reason to do it, whether it was race or religion or whatever ideology. He That's was radicalized bullshit. and broken. It's bullshit because he found something he was looking for. And Precisely. all you got to do is go through any one of the things that any of these people say, and none of it actually makes sense. And none of it is in line with any specific viewpoint. It's ramblings of a complete fucking asshole. And this is the problem. And this is why we don't ever prevent them, Greg. We don't ever prevent them because now we go, well, we got to combat white supremacy well yeah of course like racism is horrible awful thing it's a horrible part of the human condition that's been around for a really long time and we haven't cracked the code yet on how to how to how to get people to do it but we're fucking getting better you know what i'm saying and it, it's horrible but it's disgusting when you see someone who just you just ignorant person who just blames someone because of the color of their skin you're like you're a moron but but then you treat are. them as that treat them as that treat this kid as the narcissistic moron that he was and, exactly. and he did an awful thing so i i just who totally Got so listen, we started there's, this conversation no, about no, there's, there's no way but, to rehabilitate him or no, Dylan or no, any of those. Those guys. people, remember once the that, shooter those from are the ones Marjorie Stoneman Douglas? Same it was thing. the same situation. Yeah. Uh, uh, years before, they yanked him out. They said, this is the kid most likely to do a school shooting. Happened the same thing with this kid. Brian, violence is a language. Yes. Violence, violence is, is an ideology. Uh, it, it is the way to get immediate notice and sometimes can be the first and strongest instrumentality of a change. Well, so and, and I agree with you and I feel your anger. Brian, it's easy to see that this is you hit an emotional tipping yeah, point be, with you. Because they're all the but same. Be, but it, because they're all the same. And you and I had an incredible talk a couple of days ago with the person that shall remain nameless for now uh, during a complete side uh, business deal. And, and the, the person said, you know, people ask me all the time, are these school shootings preventable? And then he paused three, two, one, and we're smiling already. Yeah. And he said, yes, absolutely. And you know what? That was our marker, whether that phone call was going to uh, go longer, Brian, because I'll tell you right now, there's people out there making their living right after this thing at the, it, 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 on the East Coast at that uh Oh, it, everyone's going to jump on it. Yeah. Uh, on LinkedIn, my, my only link uh, to other humans, Brian, is LinkedIn. Uh, uh, somebody was hawking their book. Hey, of course. I told you it's going to happen. Take a look. You better start reading my book. Of and course. That hammer of truth and justice, Brian, it was jumping around in a box in the basement because, see, that's what pisses me off. You want to do something? You want to do something about this? You're exactly right. Shine the light on the problem. Yeah. And the problem is we have broken humans in yes. society. And if they don't get the mental health that they need, this will never end. And because they're becoming uh, uh, less sophisticated and more organized, we're going to see more uh, yeah, body count it's, attacks. It's it's it's, at, it's at easier random. to learn how to do it. It's easier to you know to to, to yep. pull something off. I, I think for for a number of reasons, um, you know. But but uh, it, yeah, it just goes back to I mean, this kid is 18 years old. What we've seen it in time and time again with all these folks. If you can get them. To not do out that of high school. in out oh of high school God. into their twenties, guess what yep. happens? Your likelihood of violence, anger, rage, hey, it goes down. That's why. That's why. What are you're supposed to be like 
I, I, I don't know if it still is, but you had to be 25 years old to rent a car. Like you can own a car and get car insurance. Your car insurance rates go down as you get older. Why? Because you're yeah. less likely to, I mean, the, the, you're less it, goofy. You, could, you could put it on an actuarial table because that's what right. insurance underwriters do. So why can't you do it with anything that we're talking about? And uh, th that's what, that when you get into this horrible analysis of this is why he did it. Well, one, you're not him. So shut the fuck up. You didn't talk to him either. You don't know why he did any of that stuff. There's a lot of reasons. And it, it, it takes away from the real problem and it takes away from us solving it. When you do that, when you politicize these things and make right. it all about this issue, well, you know what? Now we're never going to solve it because it's just about this issue. So now you've made it, you got to pick a side, whether you're for that issue or against it. It's, 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 it's horrible so and it's target, frustrating and you see it so over and over again. I, I absolutely feel your frustration. So Target jumped in to solve this problem and said, no, we're not pressing charges. We want to bow out of this gracefully. We're, no, yeah. we're, we're good. Okay. Second thing is they put signs on all their stores. Hey, we're no longer carrying those cards. If you want them, you got to order them online, all this other stuff to prevent further violence. Brian, that's, uh, we're getting sued for other shit anyway, I'm sure. But, but that's a coward's way out. It that is. changes you, nothing. Yeah. You can't change human behavior by uh, uh, taking those things off of your shelf. That just is going to create somebody else that's going to sell two times as many and have them on their shelf. Violence has to be addressed. And, and we're now uh, uh, back to a level of violence that I didn't think that we'd get back to where, where, where uh, municipalities and cities and people, Brian, there was a shooting at a state well, house it's, uh, it's, uh, just, a, just a couple of days ago. And, and the shooting was uh, now, I think, when they go back to it, I feel when they go back to it, you're going to see that the shooting it, had to do with a, a, domestic, a workplace violence issue where a guy had gotten fired yeah. and came back, but he was sitting at the bar, got out of hand, they called the cops. He shot the security guard. The cops shot him. And the poor woman in the scene that made me get, again, think of my mom and my aunt uh, with their hats and the feather and the old thing. They said, this is such a nice steakhouse. And all we came here is for a quiet meal. And now that's a homicide it's the scene. Luby, it's the Luby's diner. You don't diner. have that right. You don't. You it's, do so not have the, the right that, to do that's, that. That's the, what was it? Luby's diner in yeah, Texas, Texas case back in the 80s or 70s, whenever it was. No, yeah, and, and man, woman hater drives yeah, his pickup truck through the right front window. Right into the front plate glass, yep. glass window. And, and so, and that then changed legislation and gun laws and this and, you know, but is it still happening? Yeah. So we didn't fix yep. the flipping problem, but, yep. um, you know, Fuck, I forgot where I was going to go. <laughs> yeah, hey, sorry. You were so angry a minute ago. Angry, angry Brian came out. No, it, Brian it, doesn't have diabetes, but he does have a sugar <laughs> problem. So, so, so it's, uh, it, 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 well, I didn't want to get into to that one too much. No, 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 no. Because no, we I get, get into to that as, as sort of this, this is why these things occur. This let's is stop, why the ideological let's stop differences. Let's victim blaming. Let's stop victim praising. Let's deal in facts. Brian. If we deal in facts and we deal in science and you deal with intent come out, yeah. demonstrated intent, because when you talk about perspective, when you talk about orientation, listen, every one of those bad guys had a chance to say, no, they had a chance to sit down. They had a chance to comply. Yeah. They had a chance to yep. go. You got me. Yep. You get what I'm trying to say? And they didn't do it. And now coming out and saying you, the next story will be that uh, Biden inspired the shooter. Hey, you're right. Uh, right. Yeah, and, it's exactly. and Brian, that helps yeah. nothing. And, right. and you know what? It, uh, there was that movie. Remember that crappy movie with uh, with uh, uh, Eddie Murphy? Love Eddie Murphy uh, uh, in almost everything. But uh, where every time he said a word, a leaf fell off the tree. Uh, think about it. If that was true in life, where every time you said a word, a leaf fell off the tree, all of those words of rhetoric and shit that don't need to be out there on the line, they're not helping anybody. Remember what Alito, I think it was, that said about, uh, and probably wrong, about pornography? That you get what I'm it trying to say? Alito, when they were yeah, talking I know, about I know it when the, I see the, it. Yeah. I know it when I see I can't it. describe what it, but I know it when I see it. purpose does it serve, right? Yeah. And, and so I'm saying that those are my arguments. My argument's always going to be for science unless I'm proven wrong. My own, uh, 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 argument is always going to be for facts. Bring the facts forward. Broken kid, uh, he was going to spin out of control. They prevented it by a year because he was going to do it at school. And he, he, he chose what, Brian? A yeah. place he goes to all the time. Yes. He didn't choose a random yes. store. Nope. He went to this store all the time. Yeah. So that's, that's, I mean, I guess that's kind of our comments on that case for now. Yeah. I mean, we, we typically, I guess we weren't going to talk about that. Well, I, so, so how did that start? 
That was my fault. Wrong. I'm going to go ahead and take the blame on that one. That was all me. I said, hey, you know, we weren't going to talk <laughs> about this. And then I said, but let me tell you what my thoughts are. It came uh, streaming it, it, out. It, yeah. it is frustrating because it seems, and I get it, and it goes back to what I just called people out on. I have to call myself out on is what seems so self-evident to me um, yes. needs to be explained clearly. And that's why I said, well, here's kind of my hypothesis. I haven't really formalized yeah. anything or, or talked about it in, in a way that I put my thoughts together on it. But but that is, is, is we all look for some explanatory storyline for why something occurred. And so we go with the lowest calorie thing. Oh, it's obviously because of this. We've, I've seen that before. Well, it's obviously because of uh, his access to guns, because we see that all the time, right? And it's obviously because he was, uh, uh, you know, abused as a child, because, you know, I, I know what that can lead. To. Everyone picks their point. And, and they go, this is what it is. And you're like, right. maybe it's all of that. Maybe it's none of that. I, I mean, really, uh, don't, don't over complicate things that, that you, you don't need to, because just look at who this person was, look at their behavior, look at how they treated others. Don't exactly care what right. they said. You know, I mean, you've, you've got, okay, what are you going to go after people with Tourette's now? Because they say awful things all the time, but it's not right. what they don't, they don't mean anything by it. They can't help it. Uh, what are they doing? What's their behavior like? I, I, I mean, that it's with all of these cases. And, and so uh, to bring it back to how to understand this, um, that's difficult to do in the middle of the situation. That's why I, I would say, I would say, the, compare this, it. stop and think about it and compare it. Brian, there were three shootings and a stabbing during graduations or graduation parties, all of which, one of each of which, responded in at least one person being being uh, uh, fatally wounded and killed. Okay. Find those articles and those articles pull at heartstrings. Yeah. Those articles don't say uh, the Rick Moranis defense in, in uh, whatever that Ghostbusters was, where he comes running out with the colander on his head and the uh, cop asks the fireman, hey, what went on in there? And says, uh, cougar at a party, damn thing went nuts. Yeah. Right. Okay. Listen, evil is around you all the time. People that have uh, are, are broken and are going to do bad things. Uh, so you've got criminal type, uh, you've got negligent type, you've got accidental or incidental because they've got a mental health issue. Brian, we got to start teaching everybody. Look, these are fun events. Don't bring the gun to the wedding. And it's not a sign outside saying not to bring the gun to the wedding. Uh, if you're carrying a gun, don't drink too much. You get what I'm trying to say? If you got a sharp pointed object and you're in an argument, put it away because you're a human and you're likely to use it to slash the throat or stab the, the person you're arguing with. It's about human behavior. The more we know about human behavior, the more we know predictive right. analysis works. And the, the more you can, you can come up with. Um... And you can mitigate it. You can identify well because you can identify potential other uh, um, exactly. potentially other outcomes or things that are happening. I right? go back to what we'll talk about for the on the Patreon site of the video of the police officer in Michigan of the case we talked about today, yes. where he showed up, and you can tell just because his body cam is moving forward, where he did a double take because you can see the double yep. take almost like where he went. Wait, hang on. So he knew right then and there, this is not. This is, normal, somehow this, is, this is the different traffic accident of the 300 I've showed up at in my career. This one is different. Right. And then, then out comes the gun. Then out comes the situation. Like, and I'm not saying he did anything wrong. In fact, he didn't because they did the investigation. He did what was, uh, um, he was trained to do. It fell within their uh, policies and procedures yep. and escalation of force. It, it fit the legal definition for, for the authorization of deadly force to protect himself and his fellow officers. So it's not that, but it, it's, it's a perception uh, yep. issue. You know what I mean? Like how, how can I sit there in the moment and come up with potentially other outcomes for this situation? Not saying that's easy, but it is absolutely 100% achievable. You, you, you yes. can do that, right? That, that's the whole thing. You can predict these likely things, right? You just well, brought, uh, up, you brought up graduation. It's prom yes. season right now. Okay, what do you think is going to happen? Exactly. Is there going to be Emotions parties where kids, are high. kids drink too much and die, get in car accidents, DUIs, all that stuff? Absolutely. That's about to happen right now. We're in that time period in, 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 in just because of the, it's May into June, you know? So let me make a prediction, Brian. In, in the next uh, uh, couple of weeks, there's going to be a, a homicide uh, or a homicide suicide when uh, recently divorced, divorced persons are trading custody of the kids oh, at yeah. a public place. Yeah. And one of them is going to lose their mind and kill the other one or kill both of them. Now, we know that's going to happen. Right. We know that there's historic precedent for it. We know that those are high stress moments. Yet what happens is we're diligent. 
and we're safe and we protect each other. And then what happens when our guard gets let down? Why? Because humans have a tendency towards entropy. We're complacent. We get complacent. You get what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. I wear my gun in the same place I wear my badge. So if somebody sees it, this back when I was on the road, I don't carry a gun anymore. Come get some. And, and uh, I did it. So if I had to reach for my gun, somebody would take a look and they would go, oh, this guy's likely a cop and not shoot me in the head. You get what I'm trying to say? So so what happens later, Brian, is all of a sudden you just got to run into town and pick up that pizza. Ah, shit, I'm going to grab my gun on my badge. And I'm going to throw it in the center console, Brian. And then yeah. the later thing is, well, I'm not going to bring my badge, but I got my gun in my shoe. Brian, we're all guilty of that. What I'm yeah. trying to tell you is as a society, we can't get complacent when it comes to reporting incidents. We got to take a look at the incident and we got to warn people. Listen, when the engine light comes on, check your oil. What does that mean? That means yeah. it's graduation season. The first thing that's going to happen is six graduating kids are all going to die in the same wreck because they were out screwing around and hit a tree. Yep. Then at the uh, graduation ceremony, somebody's going to uh, 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 drink too much or take pills and they're not going to show up. And they're going to be found dead in the room. And then the parents are going to fight and there's going to be a shootout. And then, Brian, we can predict it. So if you can graph it, do you get what I'm saying? We pay people to predict what's going to happen with the stock market. Yeah. I guess they're sometimes right and they're sometimes they're, wrong. They're usually but, wrong. <laughs> but, but the idea is the long-term effects of it are that these things pay and these things don't, right? So that's what I'm telling you, man. You got to look around you. Just like cop shootings, uh, 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 Brian, uh, uh, cops are so much better now at, at what they're doing. But that doesn't mean that every uh, uh, incident has to result in the shooting. Let's right. talk about that on Patreon as well, too. Because yeah. I'm not saying that the cops did anything wrong in these instances. But I'm saying that we're never going to get out of the cop shoot mentality if we stay in the bang, bang, you're dead uh, binary you know, when uh, force escalates, you need to be here. And when yeah. they're here, you need it's, to be here. It's... You know, escalation, Brian, is not the, the, in, in the cops uh, 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 milieu. The execu uh, uh, escalation is a product of the scene, of the suspect, of their intent. Yeah, of everything uh, involved. Yeah, saying? it's, a, it's and, and the totality so the of it. Yeah. De-escalation is is got to be like like fighting racism. It's got to be part of your DNA. It can't be a thing. You can't yeah. go fuck. Let's run and get that anti-racist spray now. Do you see the same <laughs> yeah. right? It's either part of how you. Yeah, it's, it's not. either and and it's part of your culture or it's not. And that, you got to fix that first. No, that's that's a great that's a great point. The the anti-racist and spray analogy is is funny because that's exactly <clears throat> how we are as humans. It's okay. Now we have to go get this toolkit. Now we have you to go get it. that thing over there. No, you don't. You, you you already possess the ability to accomplish this. Like what use yep. what you have and then make it part of everything that you do. So, so it's not a thing anymore. This. Yeah. They're going to shit on me for this too. And, and I'm always wrong on numbers folks, because not only do I have coprolalia, uh, uh, but, but I have, uh, the disease where you can't see things in order is that a when disease? it comes to numbers. Oh, no. I don't know. I, I got <laughs> to catch it from somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the idea is when, and now you forgot my chain of thought. Oh my God, I need coffee. But, but uh, uh, the, the idea is when you read the news and Congress is passing a bill for $27 uh, uh, million dollars or $270 million, I don't know where to put the decimal. Yeah. But the idea is it's to, so cops can get free training and how to deal with people that have close head injuries like PTSD. Okay. Listen, we're not going to do anything about yeah. the PTSD and yeah. the helmets yeah. and identifying it those is... soldiers that need the extra thing. What we're going to do is we're going to say, Hey, those cops, those first line people yeah, that are, that... Into them are killing them at a higher rate than well, other people. And, it, and that's you just, going? it's exactly what I'm talking about with how we look I, at I think it problems. Is. It's like, Oh, we'll just is. get them to, to do this. Like that that's doesn't, it, that doesn't address the training. fucking issue. Jesus. They like, need more training. And Brian, yeah. we need training in electricity because power lines come down during yeah. storms. Every, everyone, need training in everyone says they need more trades. training until it's time, time to go do training and they just buy a vehicle instead. Or yeah, buy and everybody's thing. out of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You've had I'm more money you. now than ever and, and yet you, you don't. Oh, our budget. Okay. Yep. Your budget's higher than it's ever been in the history of this place being here, but okay. Build that new training academy. Get yeah. those new decals. And now the thing there is the coins. Let's trade coins. Coins used to mean something. They're meaningless now. Yeah. Uh, keep your coin. Uh, uh, you know what? Give it to a hobo so they can get some coffee. And I can't call it a, a, a hobo. You can't. An That's an old school percent. term. For, I'm old school. Wasn't it specific for like. I thought it was that we didn't that specifically have to deal with like ones that would ride around on trains. I thought that's with the origin. Do you of that even word. know what I trains are? 
I do. <laughs> I had a train set as a kid. We okay. had HO scale that, and a small LGB Chicago's scale for around well for trains. Yeah, absolutely, it is. There's millions of train. Tra- I've sat at I've sat at in, uh, train crossings uh, uh, for hours of my life. If you put it all together, so my brother Jeff used to put HO scale trains yeah. in his mouth uh, okay. all the time. That's, so I don't know. I don't that, know why. It must mean something uh, else he, in Detroit. He, he loved trains. I'll tell you that. So. We'll so, ask him about the hobo next time I run into him. I think that maybe that's why he loved tra- it. wasn't about the trains. It was about the people I, riding. The- I got it wasn't plugged in. <laughs> oh, God. So that spiraled off the tracks there, Greg. To yeah, stay folks, we're, we train, apologize. Um, analogy. We're here. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll get into those videos. We'll do that on the Patreon site. Yep. So, folks, you can come check that out on there and how we break stuff down. Those are quick little tutorials that we give and we do other discussions on there. And, and again, for those of you who do follow us on there, we do appreciate it. And thank yep. you for those of you who are reaching out. We do appreciate that as well. Um, and we have um, just, if you send us our ideas for, this, for, for topics or for things to do, we'll, we'll do it on there. And since we talked about graduation, I saw someone made a funny comment about it's kind of graduation season right now. So they said, don't forget to take some photos when you're taking your photos, do it without your significant other, because when you look back, you are likely oh not going God. to be with that person. I thought oh it was funny. God. It was good life advice. Make sure you get some without that uh, boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever you call it uh, in in your life because uh, you know you're young and you just graduated and things may change. So, so the wife and I just went over thirty years. <laughs> Predicting uh, that's right there. So anyway, we, we've been together longer yeah. than that. Uh, and but, Shelley, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you had to mention Shelly, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. want to make sure everyone knew who you're talking about. Yeah, but she's not proud of it anymore. The first no, why couple would years, she? she exactly. Yeah. Now it's like yeah, she's telling people, no, no, we've only been together for like you know, it hasn't it's been deep. that long. It's nine. You it's know? The- kids. We don't have kids. <laughs> nah, we're, we're just virgin. dating. We're just dating. You know, I'm her. still feeling them out. So, hey, you, you haven't even commented on my uh, my name on the show. So, I'd oh like yeah, I saw that earlier. I didn't bring up dog sitting. SME, you are yeah. uh, uh, watching Ember again, and yeah, we'll talk about that next week. She's sleeping sweet, finally. Sweet, we've been up all Rhodesian. night. Ember and I, Rhodesian Ridgeback, poor, poor that pup. is the sprinkler. Choo, 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 choo. Every time she comes over the house, she vomits on absolutely oh. every hard surface. And poor pup, she's eating something that's bothering her. That sucks. But um, yeah. well, anyway, she looks everyone... like me now. She's even wearing a jacket. You get what I'm saying? And she's wearing red because it's Friday. Remember oh, everybody yeah, deployed. Absolutely. Um, thanks everyone for, for thanks. tuning in. We do appreciate it. Share it with your friends, uh, reach out to us, left at Greg at gmail.com. And don't forget that training changes behavior.